work. You why, know? why don't you use that as a segue to giving some illustrations? Okay, I can give you, this was not on the presentation. Uh, just to give you an example. Uh, the reason I went on Alapaha, Alapaha, Lakeland Highway, we had a, a lift station that was being upgraded as part of our program. Uh, contractor on the job, didn't size the pipe run right, had a heavy rain, the pipes, the pumps get overwhelmed, we got to spill 79,000 gallons. When you look at that, it was at that it was a three hour duration, 97,000 gallons. Three hours equals 10,800 seconds. That's equivalent to nine gallons per second. Now, I didn't have the uh, hydrologic data for the Alapaha at that time, at that date. What I did is I went and looked at it the other day and just picked a date because the river is steadily coming down, March 11th. The flow in the Alapaha was 4,200 cubic feet per second. That equates to 31,416 gallons per second. And you, you divide that by the nine gallons per second and then you uh, multiply it by 100 to get a percentage. The flow, if it even, you know, and, and you got to remember, we're, we're taking the Appalachia flow. It's got to go through Mud Creek, Mud Creek Swamp, the Appalachia, and then get to the Appalachia. So you got additional pollution, additional water going in. But just using that number, it was 0.3% of the flow of the yeah, Appalachia. It was three one hundredths. Yeah, point oh three. Yeah, point oh three. So three one hundred of the flow in the river, mm -hmm. and you know for that duration, for that duration, mm -hmm. and that's the whole duration. Right. So and, I mean, and, that's, you and know, that's assuming that it's all sewer. Which and is that's assuming, and, 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 and one of the things, yeah, typically when we have these events, it's about 50 50 50 percent stormwater, fifty percent sewer. That's why we're focusing on all these things to fix the iron and I. I can do another one if you like. When we had the Blanche Street spill, that was a big one now. Mm -hmm. That was back in March of 2014. It was 250 gallons a minute. And it was for a long duration because we had a broken line under railroad tracks, or a, a, a set of six railroad tracks. So that went for quite a while. And the total of that spill was 1.245 million gallons. And again, that went into wetlands. Again, Got into Mud Creek, uh, Ice Creek, down Mud Creek, the Apalapapuchi, and then the Alapaha. But when you take that, that equation, 250 gallons a minute is 4.2 gallons per second. And according, we actually contacted the Swan River Water Management District about that. Their response, based on the flow, volume, et cetera, the spill is going to make it make up about 0.01% of the flow in the Alapaha. And that's, a, that's once it reaches it, depending on the velocity through the swamp. Uh, it, could, it could have been yesterday, today, or potentially tomorrow. They also assume that assumes no dilution of the spill as it goes through all these tributaries getting there. So 0.01%. And that was a big spill. But it has to go, it's going to travel, it's going to go through many, it gets diluted. I mean, that's not the solution to pollution. I mean, again, the goal, no spill is a good spill. But we have to fix these things, and you can't, like when it's on the six railroad track, we have to run a new line to actually bypass that until we can, until we can make a repair. And then